Welcome to the help video, Cleaning and Disinfecting Your Ultrasound System. In this video, we will walk you through cleaning and disinfecting both the system and the transducer. For the purposes of this video, we are using a Sonosite PX system. We will first show you how to clean and disinfect the system. Then we'll clean and disinfect a transducer when the skin is unbroken and there is no blood or other bodily fluids. Then we'll show you the additional steps you need to take when blood and other bodily fluids are present. Let's start with cleaning the system, stand, and platform. Before cleaning, you want to make sure to turn off the system and disconnect the transducer and any other accessories. Use a pre-moistened wipe from the list of approved cleaners and disinfectants to clean the exterior surfaces of the system, stand, and platform. Make sure the solution does not get into the connector ports. Using a pre-moistened wipe, clean the system and stand again. Allow the system to air dry following the chemical manufacturer's requirements for wet contact time. Next, let's clean and disinfect the transducer, which was used on unbroken skin with no blood or bodily fluids. With a pre-moistened wipe, starting from the cord, wipe downward toward the scan head, removing gel or other debris. Using a pre-moistened wipe, clean the transducer again with the same method. Let the transducer air dry, following the chemical manufacturer's requirements for wet contact time. Because the transducer we just cleaned and disinfected did not come into contact with broken skin or bodily fluids, you are done cleaning and disinfecting it. Be sure to check the transducer and cable for any visible damage. If you do see any damage, discontinue use and contact Fujifilm Sonosite for service. If, however, the transducer did come into contact with broken skin or blood, you must now perform an additional high-level disinfection. Mix a disinfectant solution that has been approved by Fujifilm Sonosite. Be sure to follow the label instructions for solution strength and contact duration. Immerse the transducer and cable into the container holding the disinfectant solution. Make sure you leave the transducer connector and at least 12 inches of cable out of the solution. Follow the instructions on the disinfectant label to see how long to leave the transducer immersed in the solution. Using the instructions on the disinfectant label, rinse the transducer in clean water. Make sure that the connector and most of the cable remains dry. Repeat this step until the transducer has been rinsed three separate times. Air dry the transducer. Check the transducer and cable for any visible damage. If you do see any damage, discontinue use and contact Fujifilm Sonosite for service. For more detailed information on cleaning and disinfecting your Sonosite ultrasound system, refer to the system user guide and the cleaning and disinfecting tool available on the Sonosite website.